In a previous video, we showed you how to have the player spawn at a camera destination instead of the level origin for your imported Revit projects using Flow. In this video, we're going to show you how to do the same in Lua. So the pr original problem was you'd play it and you'd spawn at the origin of the level. So 0, 0, 0, which is obviously not good. But before we jump into the Lua, let me just show you the original Flow solution. Looks like this. Well, when it's hooked up. Looks like this. So basically, we're going to grab the living room cam. We're going to get its camera. And we're going to store its cameras, store the camera's location and rotation. And then when the level loads, we're going to set our active camera's location and rotation to that stored information. Pretty straightforward, but for some people, visual scripting is not their thing. So for that, we have Lua. Now this is the code as it stands, you know, without any modifications. In order to get this to work, we're going to do this in three lines. You could probably do it in one line if you wanted to sacrifice readability and you're feeling clever. I, I don't suggest that. But let's see. So first we're going to get the start camera. So for the start camera, we're going to use the same camera as the, um, the flow solution, which is the living room cam. The living room cam, the name is stored right over here. So now that we have a reference to that camera, we're going to no, we're going to store its view position and view rotation. We're going to get that information right here. And then we're going to comment out these lines. And now the location, the well, yeah, the position and the rotation of the camera is going to be passed into the spawn player function. And then when we go over here and start, the, we're going to spawn right at the camera, as expected. So there you have it, the same result as the original flow solution. You can try them both out and see which one works best for you.